back to Auto Shrunken Head and Root and Boo. It's January 8th and McRoy. Is it Royal or Royale? Royale. Royale. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh shit, that's loud. Royale. <laughs> so, um, did you ever see the Casino Royale movie? I don't like James Bond movies. You guys, you I think we've talked about that before. You even look like James Bond. You could be a James Bond. Why don't you like James Bond? I don't know. Spy like, movies just don't appeal to me. So what movies do appeal to you? What's the last movie you've seen? Uh, last movie, like, at like, theaters? I went and saw that bad grandpa movie. That was pretty good. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it good? Was, you know, well, you know, it was fantastic. I mean, obviously, well, the parts that were the storyline that they had to write in was dumb. But, yeah. Um, you know, the, the, the antics were great. It was silly. It was, you know, jackass. You know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, always yeah, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Knoxville's yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's true. He <laughs> is. So today is January 8th, and um, a lot of things are happening on this day, or have happened on this day. It is National English Toffee Day, which is deadly delicious. And when people share their skeletons, they get to partake in that. <laughs> and let's see what else. Oh, it even smells ridiculous. Take a smell. Oh, my God. It's like chocolate crackers. It smells like really <laughs> good. i got to cover that. So what else happened on this day? If anything's screaming at you. Uh, the U.S. scientists claim that 2012 weather as the hottest year ever recorded one year ago today. Hmm. That was in 2012. <laughs> That's funny. A U.S. representative, this is terrible, Gabrielle Giffords was shot on this day. Judge John Roll killed in a Tucson, Arizona shooting rampage. They killed six people and injured 14. Well, so they are permanent angels with us today. I was in London when that happened. What was this? That was in 2011. Oh, yeah. It was um, terrible. But she's doing well, Gabrielle Giffords. She's a total role model to the world. And... Oh, God, and once again, this is why we are working with guitars, not guns. Because I know you can't go backwards in time, you can't ungun the world, but if we can slow it down for the future, we don't want things like this to be in our daily readings. It's well, not crazy good. people don't need guns anyway. Ugh. In 2010, on this day, the parliament in Portugal approves a bill legalizing same-sex marriage. Now, those are things we like to hear. Not like how the state of Utah just said you can get married. Oh, sorry. No, now you can't. Oh, did, they, did they repeal that? I think they did. They just they repealed it. Exactly. They, but you can marry 20 if you're a man of women. Yeah, but that's hot, so yeah. Well, I think women should have the same thing, though. Well, you know, that's Mormons. You yeah. Know, any, any religious it's group. Not, is it's not more women, right? But, it's, not, it's not more women. It's Oh, it is more women. Definitely more women. <laughs> but they're more men, not more women, but it is. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Roseanne, I love Roseanne. She files for her third divorce on this day in 1998. I wonder if she's been married since. Is she like in competition with Elizabeth Taylor? I do love Roseanne though. She's freaking great. I didn't know she still existed. She still exists. She has like a macadamia farm in Hawaii. <laughs> along with her, I think, weed farm. She's like a big advocate of um, legalizing marijuana. Unabomber suspect Theodore Kaczynski asks to act as his own lawyer on this day. That didn't end too well, I don't think. Um, would you ever um, be your own lawyer? Well, it depends on what I'm up against. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess. I always said I should have been one. Yeah, I was supposed to be one in my family, but it didn't happen. The World Trade Center bomber Ramzi Ahmed Youssef was sentenced to life on this day. I wonder if he acted as his own lawyer. Whoever was his lawyer, oh well, they didn't really help him too much. The blizzard of 1996 buries the eastern U.S., causing at least 50 deaths on this day. See, I was down south then, so I don't... Where yeah, down south? Uh, North Carolina. Oh. It was, so yeah. They don't have snow? In 96? They had snow. Well, they, well yeah, they snow. But they snow, didn't have what we had. It wasn't like... It wasn't the I North think East. they died in North Carolina that year. For the first <laughs> time... <laughs> snow anyway. Yeah. For the first time in 25 years, I don't know if it's happened since, there was no one elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. That's because they're all on freaking steroids. I know. 
What do you think of that? I don't, I don't know. I don't think about baseball. You don't? You don't have a team you like? Nah. Why not? Well, we're just not into sports. At all? No, I mean, Sex? The, the guitars and girls. Alright. That's a sport. <laughs> That's a sport. Sort of. Guys and Dolls closes in New York City after 1,143 performances. Now that is a good run, don't you think? Yeah. Michael Jordan scores his 20,000th career point in 1993. Nobody can get enough Michael Jordan. I, I just saw that what people do for Air Jordans, they, they kill people for sneakers. Literally, it's horrible. The Michael shoes. Jordan. Come on, people. Yeah, That's I good. know. I mean, good for him. No. Miley made that video, number 23, of Michael Jordan's number. Mm. It's pretty sexy. That girl, she can act, man. She can act. Today, Elvis Presley, and it is his birthday. And I just it became is. friends with his long lost daughter, thanks to Zest Radio. Wow. Long lost she has a He has an older daughter that was raised in England. Her name is Elaine Presley. And uh, we became friends on Twitter yesterday through Zest Radio. And she is now being accepted by Priscilla and Lisa Marie and going to be in Graceland. And she's hmm. been living in England her whole life. And she had a different last name for most of it. And, and now it came out that she really, really is the daughter of Elvis Presley. And she's adorable. She's doing cover songs of Elvis. And um, yeah, she's Elaine Presley. Hi, Elaine Presley. Happy birthday to your dad, <laughs> Elvis's birthday. But he had a commemorative postage stamp on sale in 1993 on this day. Yes, he passed away on my mother's birthday. God bless Elvis. NBC Tonight Show. Uh, they offered the Tonight Show to David Letterman on this day. We know oh, how yeah. that ended up. <laughs> I ended up with a better show. Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> I, I just love David Letterman. I, I watch him over the other people. I do. George Bush gets ill and vomits oh, on Japanese Prime Minister's lap on this day. <laughs> that's just too good. <laughs> I know, we gotta do a button for that. Uh, you think the Japanese minister went... <laughs> I, I think he politely bowed. I know, right? Oh my gosh, only George Bush could do that. Johnny Cash Parkway opened on this day in Henderson's Hendersonville, Tennessee, wherever that may be. That makes sense. Take a bunch of pills and drive down the Johnny Cash Parkway. Yeah, 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 there you go. That sounds good. <laughs> uh, to the Today Show got a new theme song on this day in 1979. I don't know if it's the one they used. And then this one, I don't know if you're old enough to remember, but Judge Sirica orders the release of Watergate's John Dean, uh, Kalmuck, and Magruder from prison. You know, they didn't even have to serve. It's it's just so wrong, you know? But I guess they had good lawyers. They didn't represent themselves, I'm sure. That was way before my time. The Loch Ness Monster was photographed on this day. Um, the Jacques Cousteau's first undersea special on U.S. Network TV was on this day. Did you ever hear of Jacques Cousteau? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Um, you know who the Beatles are? They're always doing something. The Beatles' Rubber Soul album goes number one and stays number one for six weeks in 1966 on this day. We Can Work It Out single goes number one and stays number one for three weeks on this day. Those Beatles, right? What do you think of the Beatles? I'm more of a Stones guy. Yeah. It, 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 it Stones and Elvis over the Beatles. So are you Britney or Christina? Wait for the electric chair? <laughs> I don't know. The Who and the Kinks perform on the last Shindig TV show on ABC on this day. I don't, do you remember Shindig? Yeah? Um, Senator Everett Dirksen introduces a bill to make marigold the national flower. Is it? I never know. I don't know what is the national flower. I don't know. Do we have a national flower? I think we do. Is it marigold? Well, we have a national everything. Is Every it marigold? I, I just wrote that everything. because I was so like, is marigold the national flower? I mean, why don't you let us know? I know. <laughs> the Mona Lisa on loan unveiled in America's National Gallery 
what happened on this day. Elvis Presley, Don't Be Cruel and Hound Dog, single, goes to number one and stays number one for 11 weeks for a single on his birthday. How cool is that? Elvis Presley, on his birthday, pays $4 to a Memphis studio and records his first two songs, Casual Love and I'll Never Stand in Your Way, in 1954. And then by 56, he had the number one hit. Yeah, $4. Four dollars in a Memphis studio. Mwah. This, still sounds, this still sounds better than most of these people spending ten grand on a record, you know? Yeah, four bucks. Can you believe it? <laughs> wow. Lewis and Clark find a skeleton of a hundred and five blue whale. Hundred and five. Hundred and five foot, yeah. Blue whale in Oregon. George Washington delivers first State of the Union address on this day, in 1790. I wonder where he slept that night. <laughs> he always slept somewhere, right? Good old George. And then here is a note from a very good friend of our show, Suzanne Kaufman. She asked me to read this little tribute for her. So here it is, Suzanne. I hope you're watching. On this date, January 8th in 1978, Suzanne Kaufman and her roommates were arrested on a phony assault and battery charge after Suzanne failed to procure tickets for her household to the New Year's Eve Patti Smith show where Bruce Springsteen sat in with Ms. Smith so they could be out of their apartment that night. After arraignment, Bruce bought off the trial. Suzanne wants her former roommate, Laird, to know that she'll always be grateful to him for sending her to the Phil... Phil psychic healer who fixed her fallopian tubes so that she could get pregnant in 1981 and her beautiful daughter Jessica and that she's not mad about anything at him. That's one of our guests. She'll be on the show January 22nd. So if you have any questions for Suzanne Kaufman, <laughs> give it up. We love you, Suzanne. Birthdays on this day. Gabby Hoffman's birthday is today. Do you know who she is? Did you I ever see no the movie idea. Now and Then or Uncle Buck? No. Did you, have, you never saw that, Uncle that Buck? Was, I would have skipped over that in my childhood. Really? Yeah. Now and Then I saw because I have two daughters. So we love that movie. Uncle Buck, though. Field of Dreams. Did you ever see Field of Dreams? I guess I don't like baseball. Oh, right. <laughs> Sarah Polly. She's a cute actress. I, I have seen her on the cover of Interview Magazine. That's why I know her. Petra Minerova, Miss Czech Republic Universe. I had to put her in because my daughter's living in the Czech Republic and she goes back tomorrow. Bon voyage. Wait, there's a title, Miss Czech Republic Universe? <laughs> yeah, Miss Czech Republic <laughs> There's a universe that, that only exists in it's the Czech Republic. It's her birthday today, yeah. Why not? Sean Paul's birthday is today. I love how he talks. He's like, he sounds so rasta. R. Kelly's birthday! Oh. I do love R. Kelly. I can't help it. He sings the coolest songs. I didn't mean it. <laughs> That's like a big title. Yeah. All I know is that he peed on that girl one time. Oh. oh yeah, so. I wonder if they paid him a lot of money for that. You know, I think he was wearing the Batman mask around or something for a while. I love R. Kelly. There's, he's, he's so brave. It's David Bowie's birthday. Fame, you know. You can't get enough Bowie. I did meet him once and he was very nice. Terry Sylvester from the Hollies, birthday is today. Robbie Krieger from the Doors, birthday is today. Little Anthony from Little Anthony and the Imperials, his birthday is today. Bob Eubanks, do you remember, do you even know, you even look a little like Bob Eubanks. <laughs> he was the, the host of the dating game, the newlywed game, the oh. newlywed game. Yeah, that, I think that was... The real movie that game. That was a great show. <laughs> Shirley Bassey's birthday is today. Speaking of James Bond, she sang Goldfinger. Okay. She was cool. Elvis, we already know. Happy birthday, King. Billy Graham's birthday is today. The big rock promoter. Soupy Sales' birthday is today. And that's kind of funny because when I met Bowie, he was actually doing a project called Tin Machine, with Soupy oh, wow. Sales' two kids, yeah. And Reed Gabriel. Yeah, and um, Soupy Sales and Bowie have the same birthday, which is pretty interesting. Larry Storch, if anyone remembers F Troop, oh, yeah. his birthday is today. And Butterfly McQueen. I know nothing about birth and babies. 
It's her birthday today. She is the best from Gone with the Wind. I love that lady. And angels, people who passed away on this day. Um, Dave Thomas. Baconator. Do you know who he is? Baconator. Yeah, that's right. You know who he is. Hell yeah, I know who he is. Founder of Matthews. The Baconator. I would never have known that. <laughs> Walter Walter <laughs> Deemer, <laughs> the guy who invented bubblegum. Walter Deemer. He died at 93. See, gum's not bad for you. How they how they take care of his body? The, the Baconator died at 69. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they stuck that guy under a desk when yes, he died, right? Chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and stuck him to, uh, right under this table. Yeah. Wait, right, there he is. He's there. Actually, you got stuck in my shoe. Definitely there. <laughs> He's everywhere. Well, he is definitely train. with us today. Thank you, Walter Deemer. I don't know what this world would be without you. But um, there are countries where gun, gum is illegal. You know, like Singapore, you can't chew gum. It's against the law. And um, they do Kenya. Yeah, they'll they'll whip you. Um, Louis Lulu Guest. Does anybody know who he is? The composer of Doggy in the Window. Oh, wow. Yeah. Aww. How much is that doggy in the window? I sing that song pretty frequently, actually. Uh, Lady Caithness, the wife of British undersecretary. What's an undersecretary? She committed suicide on this day. Mwah. God bless you, Lady Caithness. What did he do to you to make you an undersecretary? I don't even know what that is. He was the undersecretary. She was the wife, oh, right, of the British undersecretary. She probably killed herself because he was always under the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds about right. right. He was under the secretary, that's for sure. Sri Chandra Shekara Saraswadi, the guru of Kanchi, died on this day. <laughs> Angel, I love having gurus with us. <laughs> Steve Clark, we all know that Def Leppard guitarist. This is the day that he passed away. Mwah. And, um, and I saw Def Leppard was in the news the other day because they said One Direction totally ripped off their song, Pour Some Sugar On Me, and um, they have a song like that sounds exactly like it. And Def Leppard was like, that's all right. Um, everybody rips everybody off, you know? It's a compliment. And, and the TMZ was like, it's a total rip-off. Why are they being so nice? I think they're just happy somebody's paying attention to Death Leopard again. And they're getting a lot awesome. of attention. Also, they yeah. didn't write that song. Oh, really? Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, that's even funnier. <laughs> they steal that song we didn't write. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's a Shania Twain song that sounds just like it, but Mutt, Ra Mutt Lang is their... The writer? Oh. oh. I forgot what the name So it's all so incestual. Was, but... Menachem Begin is uh, as an uh, angel with us today. Yes, Israel's prime minister. Rita Shaw, anybody remember her from the ghost yeah. of Mrs. Muir? She was like the maid or the nanny or something like that, right? I don't remember what happened. Marco Polo, the real Marco Polo. Did they find him in a pool? Yeah, he died in a pool. Oh. In a pool, he, drowning next The Venetian explorer and governor of Nanking died on this day. So we have a lot of people with us today. Are you ready to meet some guests? Yes. And do you have anything coming up in your life, Mick Royale? Oh, hell. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be pretty busy. Um, tomorrow night, I'm at Fontana's. I do that monthly thing there. Um, Monday, what do you do there? Oh, DJing. Okay. Um, I DJ Fontana's every, it's usually the first Thursday, but we, you know, Rescheduled because of the, the snow. Holiday. Oh, the snow. the snow. It's supposed to be last week, and uh, the snow, they were afraid the bridges were going to close and I'd be stuck. Right. So we just moved it to this week. Uh, Monday, I'm having my birthday party at Clockwork Bar. Uh, when, when's your birthday? Monday. Oh, Monday. Is your real birthday? <laughs> yeah. Wow, birthday. you're having a party on your birthday. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm doing the DJ thing at Clockwork Bar Monday. And where's and that? It's uh, Essex um, between. Is it orange? It's, like, it's Essex, like right below Hester. Okay. Um, it's not orange, it's graffiti. <laughs> okay, but does it have like clockwork orange? No, it's not a clockwork orange thing bar. Does uh, it have a big clock in there? No, it actually doesn't. It should. Right. I have to make a suggestion. Okay. <laughs> so that's your birthday party. And then the date I'm, is January? January 13th. Okay. And then I'm going to, that, that week, we're going, me and the, uh, the girlfriend, we're going out to San Francisco. 
Um, she's DJing the uh, the Edwardian Ball out there. Um, nice. And then we're gonna go up to Portland, and we have a gig at um, Wow. What is it? Not Clockwork. It's a Lovecraft Bar um, in Portland on wow. Thursday, the twenty fourth, I think. Twenty third. 23rd. Thursday the 23rd, yeah. I know every Wednesday. We're, uh, right yeah, we're doing, uh, we're DJing out there. That's it's part of this, you. um, party that they have going out there called Death Trip, so. How cool is fun. that? Wow. <laughs> and then we come back. Good for you. We're excited. I mean, we're going up there to visit our family, but we're like, hey, get a gig, we might as well do it. I know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're here, we might as well. I know, I know that feeling all too well, exactly. That sounds great. So yeah. what's your website that people can find it and... Oh, just find me on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, Nick Royale. Just find me. It's easy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to the studio Saturday, too. I forgot about that. For what? For recording with the band, Hail oh. Action. We wow. changed the name from Royale to Hail Action. Okay. Because there was another Royale out there, and I don't want some lame ass indie rock band suing me for yeah, that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Or even having people confuse us for that, because it was. Ugh. So bad. Yeah. More horrible. <laughs> I, I know how that is. It happened to me once. Yeah. Or more than once. But how many root stars are there out there? No, that's when I became <laughs> Rue. I, I turned into Rue after all that. There's a lot of them on the farm. Really? Oh, cock a doodle doo. Rock a doodle doo. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know those root stars. All right, we'll be back. We'll be back. Do you want to push a button? Uh, let's see. That's always a popular one. That's a good one. Time to get another drink. That's what's happening to me tomorrow night. Breaking glass. We'll be right back.